Good morning, degenerates, and welcome to another episode of Boring Crypto IO, the place where I read you the boring crypto news every morning, Monday through Friday, as long as it's not a holiday or Thanksgiving, just so you don't have to. My name is not important, and I am your host. Guys, please smash the like button, turn the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. Wall of Satoshi vanishes from Apple and Google's US app stores. Guys, the war on crypto continues. But you already knew that. They don't like us. We are the ugly redheaded stepchild of finance. Um, yeah. Kathy Wood's ARC dumped 700,000 GBT shares in one excuse me, month. Um, I mean, I'll talk about how I feel about that when we get to it. All right. Robert Kiyosaki recommends Bitcoin gold silver investments before it is too late. Uh, people kind of think Kiyosaki's a kook lately because he's been claiming doom and gloom for quite some time. I got to be honest, man. I like a lot of what Robert has to say, and I don't think he's off. I think that the markets have been propped up for so long. Um, I think we're way overdue for a very nasty uh, correction in traditional um finance and traditional world i he, and he okay so let me give you my quick caveat right and again who am i i'm some random nobody in a, in a room making youtube videos i don't know my ass from hologram but macroly especially for the u.s economy everything looks bad uh real estate is propped up in a way uh, blown way out of proportion we're printing the dollar to death all sorts of weird uh federal regulations coming into place laws etc etc uh it's it looks it looks bad and, and it out again outside of the fact that we we're just completely overdue for a correction okay i don't disagree with that and i gotta be honest i thought it was coming five years ago four years ago looking at things but these guys continue to print money create bullshit inflated markets and prop it up uh, so eventually that house of cards is going to fall right so I, i'm not against robert in that it, it's it's just when are they going to let it fall it's almost like so in 2008 they didn't see it coming until it was too late now they can see it coming and they can continue to control it until it's too late so they're just gonna they're gonna squeeze every bit of juice out of this thing before I let it completely fall is kind of what, what I'm thinking. But I could be wrong, but I don't know, man. It's just how it looks. So, let's go, guys. <sighs> to the market. Guys, current market right now sitting at 1.41 trillion. Let's refresh this just to make sure we got it all up to date. Down 1.95 from yesterday. I have not looked at this, guys, since early Thanksgiving morning. So, Thursday. I just took a break away from everything why not guys bitcoin dominance back up 51.5 percent ETH down at 17.3 GUE getting a little high on the average i mean um i mean we were seeing levels as low as like what 10 9 now our average is around 20 to 30 30 GUE will get you that ETH transaction guys fear and greed ticking down still 71 fear and greed index index all right top 100 See if there are any outliers. Bitcoin just started pulling back this morning. Started a little bit last night, but this morning it, it, it definitely uh, pulled back. Rumor is it's because of traditional markets. I don't know, man. Sometimes people say there's correlations. Sometimes people say there isn't. I got to be honest. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's go through the top 100 and see if there are any outliers. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit of a red day. So let's go. 5.76 downside chain link. Five point oh five liter Dow downside. Five point eight eight near protocol downside. V chain down seven point two three. Ave down five point nine three. Ooh, FTT nine percent downside. 6.56 to the downside for synthetics. Axie Infinity running hard though. 10.13 to the upside. Telling everybody to S a D. See you later. Bye. Is 
7.89 downside Mina. Holy hell. Why is Terra Luna Classic pumping right now? 37.63%. Jesus Christ, you guys. I know. I, I won't touch it. Clay down 6.23 to downside. 5.43 to downside for DYDX. 10% to the downside for Blur. Gas down 9.35%. CRV down 5.6. Luna. Terra Luna. Why is Luna crap pumping so hard? 16.46 to the up. Genosis down 5.07. Jesus. Are these all like like meme coins wrapped around Terra Classic USD USTC? 175.92. What is this crap? By all means, if you guys know what's going on, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah. 175.95, 176% in the last 24 hours. What in the shit? Anyway, Trust Wallet down 5.71. And guys, that is your top 100. What is going on with Terra? Weird. I don't know, probably some, some bullshit. Probably some, somebody trying to buy FTX saying they're going to create another stable coin. I don't know. Probably something I missed that just wasn't in the news. It's just weird, but it wasn't in the news. I haven't seen yet. But again, if you if you got the if you got the beat on the street and you know something I do not, please by all means reach out. Let me know. I'm curious. I'm sure I'll see it tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Bitcoin. We are bouncing off a of 37k right as we speak. Uh. 12 minutes ago this candle just closed so we just just dipped and we're bouncing off of a 37k again hopefully it holds guys um again nothing really has changed uh and i hate to keep keep just saying this to you um but we're playing this game if this trend line holds sweet we continue to move up but if we lose it you're looking for 36,250, potentially 35, 2, 35, 1, somewhere in there. Uh, 34, 5, 4, 4, if we lose that. Um, 38K, man. There is a lot of sell pressure up here. A lot of it. A lot of it. A lot of it. This range here, like, let's. Let's make a box. Let's make a box. I haven't made a box in a while. I forget where they're at. Hey. 38.5 to 38. There is some nasty. But I think 38.5 is a psychological number. Just some nasty sell side, man. Nasty resistance in there. Um, we've got to get in this box, hopefully bounce around and flip all of this nonsense into support before we continue moving up to the upside. Up to the upside. Yeah. It's Monday, guys. What do you want me to tell you? So let's watch our market side for B. I don't remember which ones these are. A, B, whatever. I think it's B. Uh, let's see if we can start getting some green dots printing down here. I mean, we have moved significantly down. Um, let's see if we get one of these guys. Maybe one of these guys. Something like this right here. Uh, printing. This is a four hour. Let's go to the lower time frames. No green dots. Even though we're bouncing. Weird. That's a three. This is a two. Uh, we went green red 
little green dot on the lower end. Oh, it's still not looking strong, guys. At least according to my indicators. Group two, nothing. Seven minute, Sam Price, Crypto Lifer. Dude, you guys. Side note. <clears throat> if you are watching this right now and you care about people, you care about people in crypto, guys, go over to uh, Sam Price. Um, either his X account or his YouTube and show that dude some love. Crypto Lifer, I think is his YouTube channel. Uh, Sam Price, Crypto Lifer. Uh, show that guy some love, man. Over uh, the holiday, unfortunately, um, uh, Thanksgiving, actually, on, on Thursday, his mom passed away and the dude... I'll just say it, man. The dude was really fucked up about it. and Which, I mean, rightfully so, right? So... Uh, just showing love for other people in the space, man. Go, go send some love to that dude. Um, not a good holiday uh, weekend for the homie over there. So yeah, man, go follow, give him a follow. Go show him some support, man. He definitely needs it. With that being said, uh, let's jump to the seven minutes. Again, crypto lifer Sam Price. The wizard of the seven minute time chart. On the seven, we've got a huge bullish divergence. Green dots, another green dot. Looking a little bit bullish on the seven. Seven's looking all right. Let's see if it holds. Again, that 37K needs to hold. That has been our nemesis. If it doesn't, none of this matters, right? We, we, if it doesn't hold, we're playing this game again and hoping that that bottom trend line holds. That's it, guys. That's Bitcoin. That's what I see. Let's go to the daily. When in doubt, back the F out. Again, trend line still intact in my opinion, higher highs and higher lows. Again, on the daily, we're starting to set up this, another ascending triangle that we could break out of. Um, definitely the trend is still intact. Okay. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Hopefully if this holds, we get another higher low. This rolls over and we lose it, especially on the daily, especially like this level right here. Somewhere in, in this 35, 6 ish. If we lose this, we could probably roll back all the way over to 33, 033, something like that. Um, if we lose this trend, if we lose this trend, that will flip bearish and we will go down. I'm not awake yet, man. I've, I have finished my coffee and I feel like I'm just a foggy headed fool right now. So I apologize, guys. But again, that is what I've got for you for Bitcoin. Let's see if there's any news that I don't know about. Fed likely the most of the central bank, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Bitcoin uses claims. Bitcoin hack. No, the slips. Anything in the American GBT growth. PC. Month over month coming out. Fed chair speech December 1st couple days away. All right, guys, on the news. Wallet of Satoshi vanishes from Apple and Google's U.S. App Store. Apple is facing the wrath of crypto users yet again as a popular Bitcoin Lightning wallet disappeared from U.S. facing App Store. Just the U.S., right? Just just us. Land of the free, right? Totally, 100%. Fucking bullshit. Uh, Bitcoin, Lightning Payments, App Wallet, and Satoshi WS has disappeared from Apple's App Store and Google Play Store in the United States as it closes in over 1 million transactions for November. On November 24th, several users and crypto community participants shared on X their attempts to search for the WS app, which turned up no results or redirected users to competing wallet apps. However, the WS app still appeared for download on the Australian App Store and the Australian and Singapore Google Play Store versions uh, at the time of writing. 
Uh, Wallet of Satoshi is a popular Lightning payment platform that is on pace to process over 1.1 million Lightning payments in November, according to an industry author and podcast, Kevin Rook. Having some more allergies again, guys. I, I got <laughs> human issues. I've got just always had nasal issues, dude. I had my nose broken plenty of times from dumb fights and shit, so I'm just all, I'm a mess. Uh, Rook added that it wouldn't be the firm's largest month of lightning payments ever. However, while of Satoshi cleared the confusion on any X post uh, after saying that it was not banned from the App Store, uh, we made the difficult decision to remove our app from the U.S., uh, Apple and Google App Stores, and will not serve U.S. customers going forward. It read. Um, sweet. Gotta love the United States right now when it comes to crypto. Land of the free, unless you want to spend your money outside of the Fed. Got it. Sweet. Thank you for that. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of over this shit. Um, I don't know what to say, man. I'm kind of rambling right now, but... I just I, I can't believe I live in this that, that I live in a country that that's supposed to be a free country that has turned to this like like it has gotten so out of hand with trying to control people and their money into like it, the U.S. government is very anti obviously is very anti us as citizens banking ourselves. Uh, the post did not clarify the reasons for the abrupt withdrawal of service in the U.S., although it hinted at a possible uh, resumption depending on future developments. Existing users in the U.S. retain full access to their Bitcoin funds and have the ability to transfer their tokens to other wallets. Apple levies a hefty 30% tax in app payments, which it maintains a tight leash over and has been a barrier of crypto platforms wanting on App Store presence. On November 17th, the group... Disgruntled PayPal, Venmo, and Block Cash app users filed a class action lawsuit against Apple, claiming the company had entered into anti-competitive agreements with PayPal and Block to restrict the users of crypto technology and payments on iOS. I wouldn't be surprised. Apple has a history of removing crypto apps, with the firm delisting the Noster-based Domus app over a Bitcoin tip futures in June. Uh, it also briefly pulled up uh, pulled the MetaMask wallet app from its app store in October. It's just sad. All right. Kathy Woods. ARC dumps 700,000 GPT shares in one month. Okay. This is my off the cuff. Cuff? The cuff? Mike Tyson. Off the cuff hypothesis of what this is. This might look bearish. In my opinion, it's bullish. I have to read the rest of the article, which we will. Hopefully, it gives us more details. But holding GBTC does not mean you hold the underlying asset. Um, and I would assume someone smart like Kathy Woods, knowing that they're trying to change to a spot Bitcoin ETF, um, is selling. She's front running. The transfer she's front running to gbtc futures so she has liquid to buy uh maybe blackrock uh blackrock is probably gonna be the first to get approved um i would assume like i said someone this intelligent and 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 up to date on the space uh wouldn't be selling because of bearish sentiment they'd be selling because she thinks this is done and she'd prefer to hold the underlying asset on an actual spot. We shall see. After selling nearly 700,000 GPT shares over the past month, ARK's next generation uh, internet ETF still holds 4.3 million GPT shares worth $131.8 million. Yeah. I think Jeff freeing up liquidity to get into the actual spot ETF once approved. They're just getting ready for it. <laughs> Kathy Wood's investment firm, ARK Invest, has sold 700,000 shares of Grayscale Bitcoin Trust uh, over the past month, even as Bitcoin hit a 17-month high 
over excitement for possible spot bitcoin exchange trading fund etf yeah they're getting ready i, I think that, that would make sense to me maybe i'm i'm not that smart i don't know let me know comments down below the arc next generation internet etf sold uh, 36,168 GPT shares on November 22nd, offloading a total of 697,768 GPTC since October 23rd, according to ARK's daily trading data seen by Cointelegraph. Uh, ARK W offloaded roughly $1 million in GBTC as Grayscale's trust traded for around $30 on November 22nd, closing at $30.50 per Google Finance data. United States markets closed on November 23rd for Thanksgiving. Sorry guys, bad allergies this morning. ARK started selling Grayscale Bitcoin Trust shares on October 23rd of 2023 uh, as Bitcoin was heading towards $34,000. Before that, ARK's previous reported GBT's transaction was in November uh, of 2022 when the firm sold 450,272 GBTC shares. A lot of numbers after selling nearly 700,000 GBTC shares over the past month, ARK's ARKW still holds $131.8 million worth of GBTC and more than 4.3 million GBTC shares. As of November 24th, Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust accounts for 9.2% of ARKW's portfolio, ranked third after Coinbase and Roku, according to the official ARKW data. The ARK ETF that offloaded the funds is up over 68% year to date compared to uh, over 271 posted by Grayscale Trust per Google Finance data. Meanwhile, Bitcoin is up 125% year to date and near to $38,000 on November 16th, the highest since May of 2022 per Cointelegraph Markets Pro. Oh, sorry guys, I'm dying over here. Try not to sneeze. Yeah, I don't. I look, I think they're freeing up a liquidity, man. They're 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 getting ready to dump a bunch of money into the spot uh, ETF once it's approved. That's where my head's at. Makes sense to me. If you know something more, let me know down below. All right, guys. Last but not least, Robert Kiyosaki recommends Bitcoin, gold, silver investments before it's too late. Basically, he's telling you to buy liquid hard assets. Makes sense to me. Sound money. The average person who tries to save money is a loser, said Kiyosaki while recommending investments in Bitcoin and precious metals. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of personal finance book Rich Dad Poor Dad, has reiterated, reiterated his support for assets like Bitcoin, gold, and silver as inflation threatens to worsen living standards globally. Uh, guys, I subscribe to all of this. Uh, the price of gold recently crossed 2000 per ounce. Making a steady recovery amid weakening value uh, of fiat currencies. A strong supporter of Bitcoin ecosystem, Kiyosaki recommends his over 2.4 million followers on X to reduce their exposure to fiat currencies, which he called fake money system. Uh, guys, I subscribe to all of this. I, I, I agree. Great news. Gold reaches new high. Bad news. Workers and savers are losers. Bad news. Been saying the same for 25 plus years. Don't be a loser. Get out fake. Get out of the fake money system. Get into gold, silver, Bitcoin now before it's too late. The average person who tries to save money is a loser, said Kiyosaki, while recommending other forms of investment such as gold, silver, B, GBTC, or Jesus, or Bitcoin. Someone slap me. There's too many damn acronyms. Uh, on November 23rd, Kiyosaki blamed the woke government for the rising inflation and daily struggle that followed. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm shocked at the rising price of inflation. Thank God I have plenty of money, yet I feel for those who struggle paycheck to paycheck. I feel for people who cannot afford food, rent, fuel, and cannot afford to invest in gold, silver, and Bitcoin, as I suggest. All right. We're going to pause here for just a second. Not the smartest guy in the room, trust me. This is a financial advice or a financial advisor. But if you don't have a ton of money, buying silver, and I mean physical silver, is not a bad idea. 
again you're not buying it hoping it's gonna make a ton of money and it but it might it might go up you're buying it as a hedge because your dollars are worthless all right they're gonna continue to to decrease in value silver is tradable let's say everything goes to shit right having a small stockpile of silver just means you have something that is in smaller denominations than gold and allows you to continue to transact for things you need gold great store value clunky heavy small like not small uh big um and and you can't do small transactions with it is what i was getting at right so if you have a, a couple ounces of gold and you want to let's say things go completely shitty right we're talking back to great depression and you want to go buy some chickens or you want to go buy some eggs or simple simple things food water ammunition whatever trying to cut up a piece of gold to get those things and weigh it out it, it's it's going to be difficult right if you have large sums of money yes store it in gold but for day-to-day -day transactional things the reality is, is if you're looking at precious metals in my opinion silver especially if you don't have a lot of money right like i get that if you only got like a couple thousand dollars sitting around go buy a couple thousand dollars worth of silver it's better to have something than nothing if the entire system goes to shit and again easily transactable smaller transactions simple things smaller denominations um some food for thought moving on he said he continues to move his fiat assets into bitcoin and precious metals because leaders don't care about you i agree and their actions boil down to war and poverty on october 20th kiyosaki predicted that gold price would soon reach $2,100 and he expects the price to rally to 3700 in the near future. Also keep your eye on what silver might do. A lot of people believe it is heavily undervalued right now. In August of 2023, Kiyosaki predicted that Bitcoin would reach $100,000 considering the geopolitical issues threatening global prosperity. That is so here's here's my thought. If everything does go to shit, and the economy goes like really bad. I do believe there will be a pullback in Bitcoin, but then once people start looking for uh, other ways of hedging against the economy, Bitcoin will, will resurge uh, while the, the economy is going to shit. People think that because the macro and the economy goes to shit that, that Bitcoin's gonna tank. I don't, I think we're past that and I could be wrong but I think as more and more people become aware of, of what Bitcoin actually is, if if the world goes to shit, if the dollar goes to shit, I believe, because people keep looking at Bitcoin as a risk on asset, and it's it really isn't in the grand scheme of things. It's a hedge. It's an alternative. Um, and I believe if, it, like, like, yes, uh, just like when, co when, when the, geez, get the words out of your mouth. Just like when the world shut down uh, during COVID, the whole everything tanked, everything tanked. But Bitcoin had a V-shaped recovery and bounced back to six K very fast. And I think that would happen again. I believe that panic would cause all things to lose value very quickly but once people realize what their alternatives are they would instantly go back into these assets that is my thought process i could be wrong but it doesn't make sense to me for people to sell off bitcoin if the traditional uh economy is tanking all right moving on <clears throat> however stocks and bonds and markets were to crash kiyosaki envisions bitcoin's price skyrocketing to one see this is what i'm saying Skyrocketing to 1 million while the value of gold and silver would appreciate to 75,000, 65,000 respectively. Now, why would BlackRock, the largest fund on the planet, controls over roughly $11 trillion in assets, why would BlackRock 
<clears throat> create a spot Bitcoin ETF, which is technically a competition to the dollar. Think about it. The smartest financial minds, the wealthiest smart financial minds on the planet decide to go into Bitcoin. I could be wrong, but maybe they know something we don't about the dollar. And they need to find a way to hedge. And this is how they do it. That's my thought process, right? It, again, I am always, I, I, I know I'm not the smartest person on the planet. I, I, and I'm open to any conversation. Um, let me know what you think. Comments down below, guys. Let's, let's, let's start an open conversation about this. My mind just goes, yeah, they're hedging. <clears throat> they see the ship sinking and they ain't going to stay on it, which I don't blame them. They're trying to, again, this is my, my opinion. They're trying to salvage their wealth and salvage their control because dollar is trash and everyone's waking up to it. So food for thought. Let me know what you think. Comments down below guys. That is what I've got for you today. Let's look at Bitcoin one last time. And we have lost 37 K unfortunately that is not good news <laughs> uh again hopefully we bounce off of this lower trend line and continue this uptrend this if we lose if we like if we close a candle below 37k oh fingers crossed that this hail holds or at least 36,250. if we start breaking these lines we're going down in my opinion be ready for it not looking good yeah we got a lot of room that we can move on the, on the uh, 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 daily um, cause we're sitting damn near right at zero so we've got we've got a lot of room but yeah we could come all the way down to, to 36250 at least hopefully it holds uh back to four hour but guys that's it losing 37k all right that's all i've got for you guys on this monday morning sorry long video very opinionated video um but per usual guys if you do enjoy the content i do provide for you here every morning on boring crypto io please by all means subscribe to the channel turn on that bell for notifications watch the videos Share the videos on all your social platforms. Above all, if there's anything you do to help spread the adoption of crypto and this channel, please like the video. Smash that like button, guys. It is the biggest thing you could do to help everyone out, including this channel, including everyone in crypto, etc., etc. But outside of that, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning, guys. I am out of here.